So here's what I'm asking. Now that we've concluded the connection pillar, here's my ask of you. Now, no, let's not go out and make a bunch of new friends, but I'd love that. I think that would be great. And then report back and tell me who's your favorite. Here's what I really want you to do. I want you to first off, Google Dave Walsh, the true tell. He is such an expert and such a great follow, by the way, in regards to understanding the importance of connection. Brilliant. Find him, and I'm telling you, he's worth a follow. He teaches a ton. I don't do it justice. I've just been able to morph some of the best of Dave Walsh's material and how it works for me. So that's your first homework. Secondly, I want you to give some thought to this, which is remember conversations and encounters that you've had. Now, it could be somebody you know, a group of people that you know, or people that you don't know. What I want you to do, though, is think about times one, two, 600, you can't have too many examples, of really good encounters, a conversation. It felt good. It just felt good. If you were surprised at the result, even better. They're, they're really good examples. But you can't have too few, you can't have too many. Here's the rub. I shouldn't be giving you this answer, but here's the answer. <laughs> here's the answer, which is everybody has had them. And I want you to remember them because the real trick with this, with connection, connection often isn't that hard. You can make it that hard. Read books, practice theories, Google 6,000 YouTube videos, or you can remember those times when the encounter felt effortless, the laughs felt easy. That's what I want you to remember. That sense of bond was there. And sometimes I said, when you're surprised as a result, oh my God, I didn't see that coming. A new friend, uh, a new situation. Keep that in mind. It's a little different than the body of evidence. Why I'm asking you to remember this is don't overthink this part. Building and establishing a connection, while it's crucial, just ain't that hard to do. The key is knowing that you need to do it. But don't put pressure on yourself. You do not have to go out and make a new friend, which would be brutal, or make that next blind date be your partner. Yeah, good luck with that. What you can do, though, is literally just remember that feeling. That's what I want you to remember. There's your homework. Remember the feeling of a good connection because that's the reason you really want it. That feeling that you get, that every part of you kind of perks up. That's what I want. So when you're speaking, when you're communicating, when you're leading and or following, you've got that sense of, I'm doing it because I want to. Because that connection is there. So honest to God, go make a connection. Do yourself proud.